you can see my gray hair. I already have a gray hair and I found another one the other day. It's time to go grab some color and color these roots. <sighs> time is moving by way too fast. Well, hello there. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a minute since I've posted a new video. It's been about three weeks and that seems like a long, long time, way too long. Um, but I have some explaining to do. So if you wanna hear all about it and you wanna see how I got this spring look, then please keep on watching and let's go ahead and get started, beauties. <clears throat> <clears throat> it's been a while I am literally just sitting at my vanity I'm about to do some makeup so I thought I'd just go ahead and let you guys know where the hell I've been a lot has happened while I've been gone so I'm gonna sit down and do my makeup and let you guys know um, what's been going on and yeah I've missed you all so so much um, there's no backdrop in this video. It's just plain and simple. Let's just go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and prime my lids with the usual Tarte Shape Tape. You guys know this is my go-to concealer for everything. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyelids and we're going to get started with this look. Where have I been? So let's rewind all the way to the beginning. <laughs> First of all, I got sick really, really bad. Like, I think my husband gave it to me because a lot of people at his work were sick, were getting sick. So he ended up getting sick and then he came home and gave it to me. So, and I had it worse than him. It was so bad. I want to say it was the flu because there was throwing up involved. Um, I had it all. I had the body aches, the fever, um, the chills, the hotness, the sweating, the throwing up, no appetite. And then it lasted for about a week. And then towards the end of my sickness, um, from all the coughing, because I had a lot of really, really bad cough and phlegm, like really bad mucus and phlegm. So, my, uh, <clears throat> I still have to adjust my <clears throat> throat a little bit sometimes, so I'm probably gonna be doing that a lot. Um, but with all that coughing and coughing up mucus and stuff, and having a sore throat, I like lost my voice, like I could barely talk. It hurts so bad to talk and to swallow. So for a minute, I thought I had strep because usually when you're sore, your throat is sore and you swallow and it hurts to swallow. Usually that means that's like a sign that you have strep. So I ended up going to the ER just to check if I had strep and I didn't, thank God. But they did give me um, stronger medicine. So I was able to heal up a little faster um, and then I got news that my grandpa passed away. We ended up taking time off to go, um, to go be with family and to go to his funeral. So the trip was really nice to go to other than the fact that we had to go because of um, my grandpa passing away. Um, other than that, it was a really fun trip um, to see family and to just kind of hang out. Uh, me and my husband had a good time and it was his first time meeting the family on my dad's side so he really really enjoyed his time and then my sister ended up staying with me from there and then um yeah she stayed with me for a couple of days and then I took her to LAX to go back home so I just completely just was off of 
not off of social media because I was posting, of course, me with my family and everything, but I was just completely not uploading just because I wanted to take time to spend with family. And then, of course, I couldn't when I was sick. Oh my God, that was like the worst sickness I've ever had in a long time. I was just done. Like, okay, let, let me go ahead and see this. This is why I don't do a lot of get ready with me is because it's hard for me to multitask. Like, I'm when I'm into makeup, I'm like concentrated on makeup. And then when I get to talking, I'm just sitting here talking and not doing the makeup. So, yeah. Let me go ahead and get into the makeup part. We're going to be using the Desi Marquez palette because I haven't had a chance to play around with more colors in this. And I want to do a spring look. So this palette is definitely spring colors. I love the colors in this. Um, I already did like a yellow color. If you follow me on Instagram, on my Instagram stories, I showed y'all I did like a beautiful yellow eye. Um, which if you want to see a yellow look let me know in the comments down below i'll i'll refilm that or not refilm it i'll redo that look to film it for you guys if you guys want to see but today i'm feeling more like peachy corally uh vibes so we're gonna go ahead and do that i'm gonna go ahead and pick up this warm shade and it is dolce and then we're gonna go ahead and put that in our crease we're gonna use this as our transition shade It's just like a beautiful warm tone brown or tan. It's like orangey actually. It has like an orangey undertone. Super pretty. I missed putting on makeup so much. Oh my god. You know, after you haven't worn any makeup for like a week or more, once you put it on, you're like, there she is. There she is. The bitch is back and she is so ready that's how i felt when i put makeup on i was like yes i'm back now i'm going to be taking this really neon coral color and this is called karma i'm going to go ahead and dip into that i love this shade it is so pigmented like i have to knock off my brush um, it picks up so much product and we're going to go ahead and Put that in the crease as well. I'm just going to pack it in and then blend it out. And I always blend it outwards. Um, I just like that effect because it kind of makes my eyes look a little longer or bigger my eyes are small to me they're small so i try to make them look bigger now i'm going to go back in with the first shade the dulce dolce dulce however you say it and we're just going to blend blend it together i just want to make it really soft we're going to do the same thing to the other eye. Now I'm going to be taking this shimmery shade and it is called Stunt. It is a beautiful like light pinky um, orange tone shimmer shade. I'm going to go ahead and pick that up on a flat brush. This is the um, M167. You guys know this is my favorite packing brush for the lid. And I'm going to be spraying the brush with Morphe setting spray. I'm not going to carve out the lid or anything. I just want this look to be very soft. So I'm just gonna go right in with the shimmer shade on the lid. And then I'm gonna go back in with that brush that we use for the neon color. And I'm just gonna blend that in with it. Just making it really really soft and i'm gonna just pack on a little bit more so here are the eyes i'm gonna go ahead and clean up underneath because there is some fallout and then i'm gonna go ahead and um, make this part sharp and clean i always like to do that if i don't do the tape um trick so I'm going to go ahead and clean this up real quick and then we'll continue on to finishing the face. 
So before I started filming, I already um, primed my skin and got it ready for a foundation. Um, and I did my eyebrows, of course, um, just to speed up the process. I didn't want to make this video too, too long. So I went ahead and just did that. So I'm going to go ahead and apply my foundation for today's foundation. I'm going to be using um, my favorite drugstore um, foundation. This is in the shade 220 Fit Me Matte and Poreless. You guys know I use this all the time. I'm still in love with it. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and use this. Now we're going to conceal using the Tarte Shape Tape and I'm using the shade Light Medium Sand. I need to go get more of this because I am running out. I'm literally like scraping the sides. So it's time to go get more. I never put some on my forehead just because I don't want to highlight that area. So I just put it on my nose, my chin, my cupid's bow, and under my eyes. Um, now we're going to go ahead and blend it out. I'm going to spray my blender with some Morphe setting spray because it's getting a little dry. Let me give you guys the tea on what's been happening and what's going to happen actually, I should say. So we found out that we are going to be moving. Uh, I'm kind of like low-key sad about it, but I'm kind of ready for somewhere new. Um, as you guys know, my husband is in the military. Um, right now he is US Marine, but something happened to where, um, so let, let me just explain this a little better um, and short because it's a really long story. Um, basically, my husband's first enlistment came up so he was going to re-enlist, but I guess there's too many people in his MOS and he loves his MOS, like he doesn't wanna change, but they were telling him in order for him to stay Marine and to re-enlist, he had to choose a different job. So he didn't really like that option. And the options that they gave him for other jobs, he didn't like any of the jobs. So they were very, to him they were very boring and he's a very hands-on person. He, that that's why he loves his job. He's a mechanic. So he's, he doesn't like a desk job. He doesn't like um, boring jobs. Like he wants to, get his hands dirty, he likes working on things. So he was left with no choice but to switch to a different military branch. And that branch he chose is Army. He went and, well, he's been talking to the recruiter, of course, and um, the Army is willing to take him in, doing the same job, um, or he's even thinking about seeing what his other options are as far as jobs, but for sure, they'll take him in for the same job that he's doing now. So he decided last minute that he wants to change to the army. And so with that being said, we will be moving because there's no army base here where we're at. This is a Marine base. Um, so, but we don't know exactly where we're gonna be at. Um, we have um, a little bit, we have until June until we move. So. Yeah, things are getting real. We're about to move. I'm gonna miss California so, so much. So that is the little, the little tea of my life. Um, that's what we're gonna get ready to do here soon. That is why my room is kind of empty. Um, we have been spring cleaning. We've been throwing out all kinds of junk and stuff we are not going to be taking with us. Just trying to prepare for the move so that way it's a lot easier when we actually get down to packing, packing. Um, I have been doing a little bit of stuff, um, just trying to prepare for packing because uh, you guys know how bad packing gets. Like it is so um, stressful. So we're trying to make it less stressful and getting stuff ready. Um, but I ended up moving all my stuff in the closet just because when my sister was here, I didn't know if she wanted to stay in this room because this, my beauty room is just like the guest room 
basically so I didn't know if she wanted to sleep in here or if she just wanted to sleep downstairs and she ended up just sleeping downstairs because it's a lot cooler down there it gets really hot and stuffy in here especially during the summer but yeah so I ended up putting it away and just before she came I ended up just like getting rid of a bunch of crap that I didn't need and so now this room is kind of empty besides all my makeup but I think I'm just gonna keep it that way until we move because yeah, it's just, I wanted to get rid of a bunch of stuff, and like I said, I'm just a big, I prepare, like, I, I like to be prepared and ready. I don't like doing stuff at the last minute, so that is what, what's been going on, but I'll keep you guys updated on where I am heading to when we find out, so yeah, that's it. So let me finish doing this. Every time I get to talking, I can't multitask. So now I'm gonna set my concealer with the Maybelline Fit Me. This is in the shade 10. I absolutely love this powder um, for setting. You guys know I use it all the time. Take some of my sponge. And while I have this powder on, I'm gonna go ahead and take that coral shade. Um, this is called Karma and a little brush. And we're gonna go ahead and smoke out the bottom lash line. I like to do this while powder is sitting under there because if I have fallout, it will just wipe away with the powder. Then I'm gonna take the shade Dulce and I'm going to go ahead and smoke, not smoke, but blend out that shade. Just so we kind of mimic the crease. Now I'm going to be setting the rest of my face with the Bare Minerals. This is the Bare Pro um, Powder Foundation. This is in the shade Natural 11 and it's just a compact powder. I'm going to go ahead and take a really big fluffy brush and I like to just tap on my face just to really set the foundation. Um, I really like this because it gives a little bit more coverage. It's really good for oil, if you have oily skin and you want to pat, you don't want to rub. Now it's time to warm up and bronze the face. I'm going to be using Hula Benefit. Um, I want to go get a new bronzer. Um, I like this bronzer, but I really want a more wa warm tone bronzer. Um, I did receive one in BoxyCharm in the, in the Cover FX palette, but the shade is too dark still because I haven't got my summer tan yet. I really think it'll work when I get darker. So I'm probably just going to end up going to go pick up one from Morphe. Um, but yeah, I just really want a more warm tone bronzer, but this will do for now. Um, I used to use Too Faced, but I really want to try the Morphe ones. But I still really like this bronzer. Nothing wrong with it. I just really want something a little bit more warm. I'm gonna get that double chin because she's there. She's there and she's loud and proud. And then now I'm gonna take a small little brush to contour my nose a little bit. I'm gonna take the same powder just on a little fluffy angled brush. And I'm just gonna do the tip of the nose. This just kind of makes your nose look a little bit lifted and then down the sides I just do this very lightly now we're gonna take the fit me powder again and then I'm gonna go ahead and just clean up this contour using the Morphe sponge. I love this sponge for doing this right here because it has that really sharp edge. You can literally just stamp it on and it creates that line, but I'm just gonna go ahead and just bring it up there. 
and then I just kind of color it down. Then I dust it off right away because I don't like to leave it on that long because I don't want it to look super harsh. But it just makes your face look so snatched and it really, it really makes a difference. Now I'm going to take that same brush and we're going to blend out the nose. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and go over the forehead a little bit so nothing is really harsh. Go over the chin. Now I'm gonna go ahead and apply blush. This is the Morphe um, Blush Trio and this is in the shade Pop of Color. So, so perfect, especially for this eye look. This is what the colors look like. Really, really corally and beautiful, my favorite. And then I'm just gonna take two colors. I'll probably take a little bit of the middle too. The middle is like a shimmery coral shade. I'm just gonna mix them all. Mm, and a little bit on the nose. I've been doing that lately. I've just been kind of putting it on my nose as well, just to give me that little flushed look. So now I'm gonna go into setting my face with the Morphe Continuous Setting, setting Spray. I really, really love this, especially for a dewy, glowy look. I love the mist on this. I really wish that Urban Decay would come out with a mist um, because this is my favorite go-to setting spray especially for summer sometimes i'll go in with this first um like when i was out with my family on one of the days it was getting really really hot and i know that in hot weather my face just like melts because i'm i get oily so what i did was just spray this first applied my highlighter and then i finished off with this and my makeup lasted all day and it looked flawless so I'll probably be doing this a lot for the summer as well, but this is definitely my go-to summer for oily skin. If you want your makeup to not move at all, this is the one that I love to use. But for today, I'm, I want more of a glowy look. Um, so I'm gonna go in with the Morphe setting spray. <sighs> so refreshing, it smells amazing. Now for highlight, I have been loving this highlight. Oh my God, this is so, so good. And it's affordable and cheap and it's drugstore. Um, but this really, really surprised me. It is the Wet n Wild. This is the Loose Highlighting Powder. This is similar to the Artist Couture, which I did just receive in my BoxyCharm. So I can't wait to try it out and like kind of compare these two. But this has amazed me so much. I used it and I was so shocked. Um, so I've been using this nonstop. Um, this is in the shade Hustle and Glow. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this on my cheeks. It's a little messy, but I just use whatever is in the lid. And then for the highlighting brush, I've been really loving the M5110 Morphe brush. It is just perfect for the highlighting area. I'm going to go ahead and spray one more time because I waited too long. I like to have it a little bit moist because it grabs the highlight a lot better. And I just tap off the excess. You have to be really like little by little with this because a lot, if you put a lot on at once, it just is too much because this is really strong. So I would just do a little at a time. Take some on the brush and tap off the excess, excess and just build it up, so. I like to just build it up. Woo! See, I put a lot on the brush and it's like, bam, it's there. Woo, look at that. I'm literally going to just drown myself in this highlighter for the summer. 
so beautiful. Now I'm just gonna put a little bit on the inner corner. I just grabbed a little detailing brush. I'm just gonna pop that right in there. And then I'm gonna spray it one more time with the Morphe spray. Look at that glow. So I went ahead and finished off the eyes with my lashes and then I applied some mascara on the bottom lashes. Um, for the lashes that I used today were these. These are from Official Mink Lashes and they're in the style Sweetheart. Um, they're okay. I like the way they look. They're more of a natural wispy look but I honestly wouldn't recommend these. Um, I need to go get more lashes. I currently ran out, so I'm just using what I have. These took forever when I ordered them in the mail. They were cheap, but took forever to come in the mail, so they're okay. They're nothing, like, if they were super good, I would definitely be like, the, the weight was worth it. But honestly, the quality and stuff, it's like, it's okay, so. Let me go ahead and get into the lips. Um, for lip liner, I'm gonna be using the LA Girl. Um, this is in the shade Keep It Spicy. I love, love, love LA Girl's lip liners. They're super creamy and they last a long time. And then for the lip, I'm gonna be using the Morphe Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Virgin. I have been nonstop using this one right here. This is my go-to. I love Morphe's liquid lipsticks. Um, they are a good formula and they are affordable. So this is the finished look. Um, I really, really love the way it came out. Um, I went ahead and just straightened my hair. Um, I had it in a pony just to get it out of my face. And then after I was done, I just went and straightened it really quick. Um, so, and then I popped on some hoop earrings because you know, I'm feeling myself with this makeup look. I love the way this turned out. I'm loving the corally peachy shades perfect for spring let me know what you guys think of this look in the comments um i'm so so happy to be back um it's time to get back on the grind and making these videos for you all i'm super excited and i missed you guys so so much um i missed filming i missed it all i missed my makeup oh my god it's just been way too long um so yeah it's been crazy, crazy, and yeah, it's just been crazy. <laughs> but if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel. And I think that is all. I don't want to make this video way too long. Um, oh, follow me on Instagram, Br Brittany Fierro, and keep up with me. I always post on my Insta, Insta stories. So there's that. Um, I don't think I have anything else to say. Um, so yeah, I will see you all in my next video. And for now, um, I'll see you later. Bye.